Uh oh. Uh oh. Somebody OD'd right down the street right there. But I wonder what these are. Are these real? Telephone guys? Or are they fuzz? Oh, here comes the cops. Shamrock, 603, uh, an OD, he's dead. Oh, rest in peace, brother. Oh, jeez. Watch out for the ball joints. Yeah, watch out for the ball joints. Oh, shit. It's going top speed right now. I know, that's at top it's speed top right speed. there. Yeah. Top speed. He's... He's parking in Dizzy's driveway. Look, it's going so fast, it's going in reverse. Holy cow. Now slow down, ladies. Slow down, huh? P-O-J. Sunday. Let's go real slow. Oh, we got, we got rubbernecks over here watching. What's going on? Uh-oh. An accident? Yeah. Oh, look at the car rolled over, right there. Oh, yeah. Oh. Yep. They were going into the flea market, next thing you know. So, what I did here is I took the wire wheel here and I cleaned this spark plug like brand new again. You know, it's, it's nice. So, and I cleaned the port where it goes in. And I pulled and removed the head. And all those And bolts. all the bolts. <laughs> and I cleaned this. Cleaner than Ron's buttocks. Look at that. Look at that hole. That's, That's smoother. Way too. cleaner than Ron's. <laughs> <laughs> Take that. Take that. Feel that smoother. How's that? Yeah. And there's no hair around this one. <laughs> yeah, but if you turn it sideways, so, it looks like me fucking standing in front of a mirror. It sure does. <laughs> so the problem was these two valves were stuck. I mean, they wouldn't move whatsoever. So, I mean, I don't know what everybody else does to do this, but all I did to free these up was use this small hand. And uh, I would I forced it, the the small one up, okay, and then I put this on it and I tapped the top of it with a bigger hammer, nice and slow, nice and even, and I, it took me about a million times with this spray right here, okay. I used it on the other engine too, but I'll tell you right now. First of all, this thing free goes nice and smooth. These turn around. Oop. The gasket's in the way. Sorry about that. Turn around really nice. Everything's free and clean. They both go up and down freely. You see that? Look at that. So this one is, is ready for business. It's going to need a carburetor clean and um, things put back together. You know, i got to really give it a clean. But... This uh, Honda G200 is well on its way. The little Japani motor to back to life. You know, that's what you Dizzy likes. And I did uh, that Intec motor. I just want to tell you, I didn't put no gas in it because that's where it goes on a shelf. You know, I don't, I don't, I know it runs. It, it, it's got plenty of compression. The spark's awesome. The carburetor's all clean. Everything's done with that. And I actually have another snowblower motor right there that's all redone too, ready to go. But I don't put gas in them because they're in my shop. And Ron's got enough gas for us in here. And I'm um, wearing pants today. Look at this. Yo, look at, oh, I'm look pants. at that. That's Ron's got work see. boots in the shop hey, wait, and pants. You. These are shit kickers, dude. Oh, those see are, the side? Those shit are kickers. shitty kickers. That's what it says right on there, shit kickers. Well, you got it. They can't see that. Oh, my goodness. They're real shit kickers. I don't know if you can see that, but it says <laughs> it on there. He's, show me that foot, you goof. Well, there it is. Shit kickers. You happy now? <laughs> That's the way we roll in so, the busy shop. This is... uh. Well under the way to uh, being another kid's 
smile. That's all I got to say. And speaking of kids smiling, when we went shopping yesterday for Slut Lil's Kids, yeah, I, I hate fun. Christmas and I felt so fuzzy inside getting all these toys. It was What'd awesome. you get? What were we getting? I got the toys for the kids. Oh. I don't like Christmas and I felt so fuzzy and warm and sudden we're filling up the I car. Know. It felt Dude, good. When I was putting the stockings together, I was stuffing them so full. It's just incredible. Yeah, it's a Everything good I stuffed in there it gave me a bigger smile. Yeah. But this is about the goddamn motor here. Oh, sorry. So, I, I, other than that, the, the exhaust looks good. This It just needs clean now. You know, a good cleaning and uh, carburetor clean and the motor itself. And it should be underway. So I'm not sure when I'm going to fire this along with the Intech, but they, they're well on their way to being projects. I believe in the comments, Javi said he may have a, another uh, project for us down the road, so that would be cool. And, like, you know, as soon as I get a gasket set uh, for this, I need a gasket set for this. Uh, I mean the, uh, the um, yeah, you know. The diaphragm <laughs> in the spring. So I'll be on to that. So thanks for watching you, Dizzy. Well, today, um, I think I planned, uh, made a plan for the mini bike. I'm going to use this Honda motor for it. But I need, uh, it's got plenty of compression. The carburetor is all clean. I, I rebuilt the carburetor. Um, everything flows through there mint. The problem is I even popped the flywheel off. The problem is I got no spark. So I'm going to look into a new coil. And uh, I'm going to use that. So whatever it takes to fix this Honda G200, I'm going to do to uh, make this work. It's got a nice exhaust on there. Sorry, you can't see too well. but And I'm going to look for a back tire and a sprocket and a, and, um, a clutch for it. And that, that one there is a three-quarter shaft. This one here, like everybody was saying, is it could be a uh, tapered shaft, which very well could be. But I think I got some friends that might have parts to these or, or whatnot that I can probably change it. If I'm going to even take it off, I'd like to just get this working and keep it as an antique altogether. You know, that works to you. Not so much an antique, but, you know. An old engine that runs so that would be cool so another happy customer Colin's pretty happy with the uh, restoration on his uh, toolbox toolbox listen to me ashtray yeah he's uh, he's very happy with that so uh, another day at the U Dizzy shop I want to thank everybody, and uh, I want to give a shot of this, too. This is the next project. This is the next project. Look at this. Let's look onto it. I've seen this thing over my buddy Ed's warehouse, and I said, i got to get this for Buck's Woodshop, so I'm going to clean this up for him and I'm gonna send this to him I guess uh, you can hook a drill to it I tried it it works it's pretty pretty dangerous but uh it's cool as hell it actually adjusts up and down that way and it, and it turns 45 I mean a nice knick knickknack for a wood shop guy so I'm gonna you know restore this a little bit or clean it up a little bit for Buck's wood shop and send it to him well I thought about restoring it because it's a little bit dirty and got some rust spots on it and whatnot. But I'm not. I'm going to send it just like that because if I mess with it, that takes away from the oldness of it. If he wants to clean it, he can clean it. You know, some people like that, the oldness. You know, it's still a cool little knickknack. That could really work.